Hi, today we're gonna talk about three different pastes. Today, the first person that we're gonna talk about is phyllo. Phyllo is from a Greek word that means leaf. It describes as a leaf because it has the texture and the thinness of a leaf. It is basically made from a raw dough and made into a paper thin sheets and can be used to make many different other pastries. Phyllo dough is made with flour, water, and a small amount of oil. Phyllo dough is made with flour, water, with a small amount of oil. And a homemade phyllo takes time and skill, requiring progressive rolling and stretching to a single thin and very large sheet. A very big table is used, preferably with a marble top. If the dough is stretched by hand, a long thin rolling pin is used, with a continual flooring between layer and layer to prevent the sheets from sticking to one another. When using phyllo to make pastries, the thin layers are made by first rolling out of the sheets of dough to the final thickness, then brushing them with oil or melted butter or some desserts and stocking them. Phyllo is stuck, like stuck, like a lasagna noodle because it has the uh, thin, uh, thin, it is like a thin sheet. This contrast with puff pastry and croissant dough, dough, those, where the layers are stuck into a thin layer of dough, then folded and rolled out multiple times to produce a laminated dough containing thin layers of dough and fat. Filo can be used in many ways, layered, folded, rolled or ruffled with various fillings. And lastly, you can make baklava, borek, banitsa and many other more pastry with filo as its main ingredient. The second uh, pastry that we're gonna talk about is pie. Pie comes from a different variation, variation with a dozen of things that you can put in the center of it. A pie is a baked dish which is usually made of a pastry dough casing that contains a filling or various sweet or savory ingredients. Sweet pies may be filled with fruits, nuts, brown sugar, sweetened vegetables, or with thicker fillings based on eggs and dairy. Savory pies may be filled with meat, eggs, and cheese, a cliche as we can call it, or a mixture of meat and vegetables, hot pie. Pies are defined by their crust. A filled pie has pastry lining the baking dish, and the filling is placed on top of the pastry but left open. A top crust pie has the filling in the bottom of the dish and is covered with a pastry or other covering before baking. A two crust pie has the filling completely enclosed in a pastry shell. Short crust, short crust pie or pastry is a typical kind of pastry used for pie crusts. But many things can be used, including baking powder, biscuits, mashed potato. Yes, you can put mashed potato in a pie and crumbs. Pies are so versatile that even us Filipinos have a many different takes on it. Yes, Filipinos. Number one is the buko pie. Philippines is the one of the places that is rich in coconut, or as Filipinos call it, buko. That's why they make a buko or a coconut filling that will surely be new and be tasteful for the foreigners and other local individuals to try. It has the hard texture of a pie and a creamy, soft feel or of the filling or the buko filling. This makes the Philippines have its own unique way of pastry that will surely make our nation's tummy, other nations' tummy happy and Filipinos proud. The third thing we're gonna talk about is mochi. Mochi is a Japanese dessert or pastry that makes Japan have its own kind of sweet taste uh, or dessert. Mochi is a Japanese rice cake made with mochi, gim mochi gome, a short grain japonica glutinous rice, and sometimes other ingredients such as water, sugar, and cornstarch. The rice is pounded or grinded nowadays, and after a series of grinding or pounding, it turns into a paste and molded into a desired shape, such, such as a ball-like shape. In Japan, it is traditionally made with a ceremony called mochitsuki. They, they use mochi in a festival. While eaten year-round, mochi is a traditional food for the Japanese New Year and is commonly sold and eaten during that time. 
Mochi is a multi-component food consisting of polysaccharides, lipids, and protein, and water. Mochi has a heterogeneous structure of amlipo, amylopectin gel, starch grains, and air bubbles. The process of steaming glutinous rice and making it into a paste is considered to have its origin in Asian, ancient China and to have been introduced to Japan from Southeast Asia sometime after rice cultivation was introduced to Japan. At the end of the Homan period, red rice was the original variant used in the production of mochi. The rice used for mochi has neglig negligible amylose content and high uh, amylopectin level, producing gel-like consistency. It is derived from a short or medium grain haponica rices. The protein content of the rice Formal short grain rice.